I worked at a Wendy's. Had one guy try to order McNuggets over the speaker. Fast food workers, what is your sir? This is a Wendy's moment. Was a shift manager at a McDonald's in the middle of a mall. A guy walks up to the counter with several McDonald's bags of food. Guy, my wife came through your drive through and you messed up the order. Me, are you sure she came through our drive through Guy, yes. She told me she came through the drive through and when she got home she realized the order was wrong. You'll need to give us our money back and give us the right food. Me, confused while looking around the mall. Me, did she drive through Sears or JCPenney to get here? Guy, looks around and finally realizes he's in the middle of a mall. Grabs the bags and huffs away. That was the single greatest amount of human stupidity I had experienced until I joined Reddit. <laughs> Work at Panera. Guest calls in from car, several people in background, or giving orders for a pickup. First order is something simple, next order is an item we don't carry. A salmon dish of some kind. I know there are some regional paneras that have or have had salmon. We are not one of them. So I'll let them know, hey, I'm sorry but we don't carry salmon. Maybe and the person on the other end of the phone cuts me off and starts getting really aggressive. Yes you do. You do. They scream. But I don't. We don't. So then I'm like, hey, maybe you're thinking of another chain. We are very similar too, and I start to list off some other places, and they cut me off again screaming, I know you have diucking salmon. What the duck? I ate it just the other day. And at this point I'm just being honest with them and say, hey man, I don't really need this attitude. We don't have salmon. I can't make the dish for you. You have us confused with someone else. There's a long silence and finally someone, not the person who's been yelling, says, wait, this isn't insert some totally not panera sounding place that I don't remember here, no. And then everyone in the car starts yelling at each other, and I hang up. Customer service is the worst. It wasn't me involved, but I witnessed it. I worked at Burger King when I was a teenager. We are short staffed one day, and the girl on the drive through was on break, so our manager stepped in to cover her. He was pretty old, and didn't have the best hearing, so most customers were pulling around to the window, to talk to him as he was struggling to hear through the headset. Anyway this one guy rolls up to the window and shouts, I want a large big Mac meal with a coke please. Is that so damn hard? My manager very calmly says my apologies sir, that won't be difficult. He leans out of the window and points down the road there's a McDonald's about 3 miles in that direction. They'll be able to help. Have a nice day sir. Then he just closes the window and walks around the corner out of sight. I laughed so hard. I used to manage a Del Taco during my high school teenage years. We had an older man come in once a month and drive straight through the speaker to our window. At said window he'd look at me, until I came over, start ordering Starbucks, then midway through realizing it was a Del Taco and drive off. Once a month, every month, for two years. Worked at a Dairy Queen. Had a lady saunter in all frustrated, bag in hand. Whipped out her receipt, and without giving me much context said, there's supposed to be a badger blast. I told her ma'am this is for Taco Bell. She quickly said my bad, and sped out of the restaurant. I think she was making up a story, and did it in the wrong store. Also the number of people who asked, do you serve ice cream is way too duckin high. I worked at a Wendy's. Had one guy try to order McNuggets over the speaker. When I asked what size they wanted, they got all defensive, that I wouldn't call them McNuggets. Fine, 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 I'll take a Whopper. A, a Dave's Double? Or Baconator? Needless to say, they screamed at me, and zoomed off into the smog set. Worst year of my life. I worked at the concession stand at a movie theater in high school. This guy orders a popcorn and large diet Pepsi. 
comes back to the counter like 10 minutes later complaining that his soda is carbonated. I explain to him that all of our sodas are carbonated, and he asks me if we had a microwave. We did, so he wants me go into the back and microwave his soda. He wants it warm, but not too warm. Went to the back and had to pour the soda into two different cups because the original wouldn't fit into the microwave. Truly bizarre experience. This happened at an actual Wendy's. It's a bit long but trust me, it's worth it to read. I once had a woman come through the drive through and try to order macaroni and cheese. I politely informed her we did not have that. She insisted we did. I told her we definitely didn't. She got angry and yelled at yes we did. I told her ma'am I've been working here 3 years. We have never had macaroni and cheese. It's not something we serve. Would you like to order something else? She says yes you ducking do. I can see it on the menu board. It's right there right in front of me on the menu. I tell her I'm really not sure what she's looking at, but we don't have mac and cheese, and if it really does say mac and cheese on our menu board then that means someone vandalized it. She says no, it's definitely part of the menu board and it's real, and we do have it, and she isn't leaving, until she gets her mac and cheese. Hugh quite literally 10 minutes of this back and forth, all while she's holding up the drive through line. I finally got the manager to come over and deal with it, after asking him for the 15th time, because they don't pay me nearly enough to deal with that for that long. The woman absolutely refuses to accept that we don't have mac and cheese. She also refuses to order anything else and won't move her car until we give her the mac and cheese that we don't have. We have a line of cars wrapped around the building now and everyone is pissed. It's been half an hour and the line has not moved. The manager tells her if she doesn't leave, he's gonna have to call the cops. She screams she can't understand why we are doing all this and why we won't just serve her mac and cheese when she can clearly see it on our menu board right in front of her. So we do have it. And why are we lying to her? I decided enough is enough. I exit the building, walk along the outside to the drive through order screen where this woman's car is. I tell her to please show me on the menu where it says the words macaroni and cheese anywhere. She points and confidently says right there. With all the conviction of someone who is absolutely sure they just proved some big dumb idiot wrong, and that they will be hailed as a hero. I look where she's pointing. I see it. I sigh heavily as a bit more of my soul dies. I compose myself and say, as politely as I possibly can, Ma'am. That is a picture of the orange slices that come with the kids meal. We do not serve mac and cheese. Please drive away before the police get here. She looks confused, looks at the menu board again, the realization dawns on her, and she drives off without a word. I go back inside, and scream in the walk-in freezer for 10 minutes. I worked at a chipital for 4 years, and got some pretty interesting requests. But I'll never forget the time someone ordered soup. Chipital doesn't have soup. I promptly reminded her this was a chipital, but she insisted we could do it. So we made her soup at chipital. It was the grossest concoction of bean juice, sofritus, mild, medium and hot salsa, and sour cream. She was stoked. <laughs> Worked at McDonald's. We would always get people that would ask for a Whopper burger, either seriously or trying to be funny. Cue the exhausted we don't sell Whoppers so slash ma'am, we have the Big Mac. In response, usually we get an O, right? Okay, one of those. Until one day we had a guy come through drive through that asked for a large Whopper meal, and instant reply back, Sir, we don't sell Whoppers here, we have Big Macs or Quarter Pounders or McChickens. He replied, No, I don't want that, I want a Whopper. Me, sir, we don't sell those. This is a McDonald's. The closest equivalent would be a Big Mac, but it's not a Whopper. If you want an actual Whopper burger you need to go to Hungry Jack's. Burger King. Him, a ducking Whopper meal. Me, okay sir, I can't give you a Whopper meal here, but I can order a Big Mac meal for you. 
The Big Mac is the closest equivalent we have, but it is not a Whopper. Are you happy with the large Big Mac meal instead? Him, yes, was that so hard? We give him a large Big Mac meal, and sure enough 10 minutes later he is back through the drive through screaming into the speaker that he hasn't gotten his Whopper burger. I worked at a liquor store a few years back. One day a man walks in and puts two bottles of whiskey down, and as I'm scanning the bottles I make the usual small talk. How's your night going? The man took a deep breath and looked me in the eyes and says well, I just walked in on my 14 year old son completely naked video chatting a duck in middle aged man, so it could be a lot better. I didn't quite know what to say, so I told him oh, that's not good, enjoy your drinks. I had that once working at McDonald's like 6 years ago, this lady, probably in her 50s, comes to the front counter. I say my NPC greeting script of welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you? And she straight faced, staring into my soul, asked if I would have sex with her. I was astounded at the confidence and sheer bluntness about it, as well as how inappropriate it was, that I stammer out something about me being 16 and that's illegal. She then got all sad faced, and started on about a divorce, and she was having a rough time with it. I managed to chime in with how about a nice burger for some comfort food. And she ordered one. I never saw her again, thankfully. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. For more videos.